Hi guys, it's Megan and today I have an extra special video for you. The Game Boys channel and I decided to team up and we are going to be showing our Disney collections. So I believe they're going to be doing a tour of their Disney villains bathroom. I've been wanting to see it since they mentioned it. So I'm so excited for that. Their video is up and ready for you to view, so go on over to their channel. I have their video linked in the description below, so go and check that out. Give them a like, subscribe. They have amazing Disney content, and um, they're just really fun to watch. And uh, I've really had a blast getting to know them on YouTube. So I have quite a few Disney collections, and so I'm going to be filming this video in segments today. I'm gonna be showing you my Disney pop collection. I'm crazy for pops, I gotta admit. I have so many. The reason I'm not doing like a home tour, uh, my husband and I recently moved into our home and we are setting up a game room that is going to be our pop culture room. Um, we are huge Spider-Man fans. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that. Um, I'm a huge Disney fan. And um, we're, we just have a lot of fandoms of, and things that we love. Um, TV shows, movies, cartoons, you know, fun fan stuff. Um, so we have collected a lot of things over the years. So we are working on setting up a game room and that'll have all of our video game consoles. We own quite a few. Uh, my husband and I used to run a video game store in New York. So we were able to get a lot of things at a discount while we worked there. And we were able to just kind of build up our collection a little bit easier. Anyway, so I collect Pops and I collect Marvel Pops, Star Wars Pops, Disney Pops. And then I have a few here and there that are Pops that are just from fandoms that I love. There's, I have some from Clueless, from Beetlejuice, from Rocky Horror Picture Show, from Harry Potter. Oh, we do collect the Harry Potter ones too. Um, but so I am going to be showing you my Disney pop collection today. I actually just got a brand new pop figure in the mail today. I am a member of Disney Movie Rewards. I buy a lot of Disney movies, so I have a lot of Disney points. And I saw this as a new reward on the Disney Movie Rewards website. And I opened it already. And um, I had enough points to get this pop figure, so I did. Now this is a Marvel pop figure, which is now owned by Disney and so is Star Wars, but I'm not gonna be showing any Marvel or Star Wars pops today. I'll only be showing Disney and Pixar pops, um, except for this one that I got today because I'm extremely excited for it. So on the Disney Movie Rewards website, there was this pop. This is the Captain Marvel pop from the new movie. And it said on the Disney Movie Rewards website, everyone who gets orders this with their points is going to get this pop. But a very small select few people are going to be getting the uh, limited edition Chase pop. Um, which is Carol Danvers with her helmet on. And I think I must be a lucky person because I got the limited edition Chase version of this pop. I am so excited about it. I cannot even tell you. Um, being a pop collector, it's really cool to own something like this that is very limited edition and Chase and I'm just really excited about it. So I am a person that keeps all of their pops in their boxes um, and I'm not really gonna be probably taking them out, but I will, um, if, if they're hard to see, I will take them out. Um, otherwise, I am just gonna show you them in the box and um, we'll go from there. So this is Captain Marvel with her helmet on. Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's move forward. So I'm not gonna show you these in any sort of order because they're all mishmashed over here and I don't have the patience for it. 
Um, I literally had to dig through boxes in our game room. We're not done putting it together at all. Um, so I had to like look through so many boxes. It was so ridiculously tiring, <laughs> especially for someone who has fibromyalgia. By the way, if you're following my health journey, I got officially diagnosed with fibromyalgia yesterday, which is a huge win in my book. I've been through years of trying to figure out what is going on and six doctors and tests that are just like way too many to count and I finally got a diagnosis and a treatment plan yesterday so anyway so we are gonna start and um, first I'm going to start with this Wally pop I love this pop I think this is one of my favorite Disney pops because it is so cute sorry if you can hear the ducks in the background I live across from a pond that houses many cute ducks that I love but they're loud sometimes anyway so this is the super cute Wally pop and um, I am NOT gonna be talking too much through this video I'm kind of just gonna announce and show so that it's not a hugely long video because I also have Disney mugs Disney pins and a couple of home decor Disney items to show you so let's just keep going Next, this is one of my absolute favorites. I'm a huge Mickey fan, and this is Mickey Mouse. I love his little stance here with his hands out. I think that's adorable. Next, we have this amazing Simba Pop with his cute little leaf mane. He is adorable. Next, we've got Gaston. A lot of these are gonna be from the 90s movies because that is what I'm a huge fan of. I don't collect all Disney Pops, I just collect Disney Pops from movies that I really love and care about. And it's, it's still a lot, so <laughs> there's a lot. Next, we have Mary Poppins. I love this so cute Mary Poppins. She's adorable. And this is the original Mary Poppins. This is not from the new, new movie. She's got her carpet bag and umbrella. I love this one. This is Rafiki holding baby Simba. How cute is that? And this was in a set with the Leaf Simba, which I also have, that was released at the same time. Baby Simba's so cute. Okay, next we have Heimlich. Unfortunately, Heimlich is the only Bugs Life um, pop that I own, and I do want to get the other two, but I just haven't yet. Flick and Princess Ada as well. So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for that. But Heimlich is one of my favorite characters from that movie. So I'm really happy to own this pop. He's so cute. Next we have Tiana. I love Princess and the Frog. And this is Tiana in her beautiful blue dress. She is wearing a tiara, but you cannot see it in this packaging. But that is what it looks like. Next we have Mulan. And there was another pop that came out um, in this collection as well, and that is the Mushu and Cricky pop. And I really want to get that pop. I do not have it, but I really want to get it. Okay, next up is Kafiti. This is from the movie Moana. Um, I do want to get more of the Moana pops. I do have two more over here that I'll show you. But um, there are some that I don't own. I don't own the grandma, Grandma Tala. I don't own Moana in her um, like headdress. And I don't own Taka. So I definitely want to pick those up at some point. But I think this is so beautiful. This is how I picture like the earth, like Mother Earth looking. Um, and I think they, the movie just captured it so beautifully and this pop is gorgeous. 
I'm so happy I own it. Next we have my Queen Ariel and this is when she's a mermaid and she has a pink flower in her hair. You can't really tell too much but this is what she looks like and her tail is glittery. I don't know if you can tell the lighting in here is bad because I wasn't able to do this video until the sun was already going down so Ariel is probably my favorite princess if I had to choose one. Okay, next up, one of my favorite villains, Dr. Facilier. I think that he's probably one of my favorites because he uses magic and like tarot cards, which is something that I'm into. I own a crystal subscription box and I'm really into being magical um, and, you know, energy exchange and stuff like that. So um, having him as a villain is really cool. It's kind of shitty that he uses tarot cards and people might view that as like bad since he's a villain but it's kind of cool too i think so <laughs> this is dr facilier this is what he looks like next is the heaviest pop that i own it's huge i think i'll actually take this one out of the box for you you ready this is the beast with his cute little birdie friends here is the box. This is a huge pop compared to the other pops. I mean, he's like the same height, I think, but his just bulkiness, like his head is so heavy and the rest of his body. I love this pop. I love these. So cute. All right, next up, we got my girl Minnie. This is Minnie Mouse in a pink polka dotted outfit. She is supposed to come with yellow shoes, but she came with pink shoes. I'm not sure if that was a mistake, if I got a limited edition version. Usually it would have a sticker here, like it did on the Captain Marvel one, if it was different. Um, but I'm gonna have to look that up. I actually never noticed that she has pink shoes instead of yellow on here. So I'll look that up and uh, update ya. Next we have my dude Carl with his cute little cane with the tennis balls on it. Some of these boxes are a little messed up because my nieces love to play with pops. I haven't let them play with all of them, just a select few, but if I'll show you some of the boxes that are kind of messed up. Anyway, this is my cute little Carl. He does have his grape soda pin on, um, which I love. And his cute little sad face. I love Carl. All right, next up we have the Mad Hatter. And this is based on the uh, new movie version played by Johnny Depp. Uh, my favorite is still the original cartoon, but I do love um, anything else in Wonderland. So. He is so detailed, the makeup on him is great. He's just amazing. He's got his little teacup, his cool hat. And next we have Alice from the original cartoon. I love Alice. I love anything Alice in Wonderland. And that is what she looks like. Next up, one of my favorite pops. This is Buzz Lightyear. And this was the 20th anniversary edition of Buzz Lightyear. He has his clear um, helmet on and his arm up with the little door open, ready to zap you. I love it. I'm a huge fan of Toy Story. And my husband is too, and that's something we were able to bond over when we met. He can like recite every word of Toy Story. So. All right, next up we have Louie! I love Louie from um, Princess and the Frog. This is also one of the heavier ones. He's got a big head. And that is what he looks like. Isn't he cute? And he's holding his little trumpet. Adorable. Next up, we've got my girl Rapunzel. I love this pop because look at her hair. There we go. Um, it's like long all the way down by her feet it wraps around and then um, 
It's got flowers in it. Isn't that cute? She's doing a cute little pose. Okay, next up we have Maleficent. I am not a huge fan of Maleficent. I believe I got this in a subscription box at some point, um, but I do love Disney villains and I think this is a really cool pop. I love her horns. So cool. Now, this is one of my most favorite pops that I own because this movie meant so much to me growing up. It's Powerline. This is a Hot Topic exclusive pop, so it's only sold there. He's got his really tall hair that you can't really see in here, and he's doing his cool Powerline stance. And um, this was just a movie that I absolutely loved growing up. So I think it's really cool that they came out with Powerline pop. Okay, next up we've got Cinderella. She's got her little cute hairdo. You can't really tell from the box. And she is in her beautiful blue dress. Next up, one of my favorite Disney characters, we have Sebastian. I love Sebastian. He's got his cute little leggies. And um, just in case you didn't know, Sebastian's a crab, not a lobster. There you go. Isn't he so cute though? Next up we've got Bambi. Um, I am not a huge fan of Bambi, although this is a really cute pop. It's Bambi on the ice. Um, and it does have a clear blue ice. You can see it in there. And um, he's, you know, slipping. The legs are going right out from under him. And this was a uh, Disney Treasures exclusive pop. I used to be subscribed to Disney Treasures. I might subscribe again and just kind of show you guys what you get. Um, try that out, but we'll see. I was getting some stuff that I didn't really like love, but um, yeah, it is cool though. And I collect pops and it always comes with a pop. So and I've gotten some really cool pops from that subscription I will show you at the end. I'm saving the big ones for last. So anyway, this is the Bambi Pop. So this is one of the boxes that my niece ruined and Pua is not in here, although I do know where he is. Um, this is the Moana Pop. And the Pua is so cute. Next up, another box my niece has ruined. It's okay, I forgive them, they're cute. This is Belle in her cute winter outfit. Um, she also comes in an outfit where she's holding the birds right here, that kind of like the beast one that we got that I showed you that ha he has the birds. Um, but I just got the one with her hands. Okay, next up, one of my absolute favorite Disney characters, Flounder. Look at that cute little guppy. Isn't he adorable? And he came in the same series as that Sebastian I showed. Next up, we have Lightning McQueen. This is a really cool pop because it's actually a car and you don't really see pops a lot that are not people, so, or animals. So this is really cool. Next up we have one that I'm definitely gonna have to take out of the box to show you. You ready? This is Tamatoa from Moana. And yes, he has a gold glittery back. And what is that? He's got all sorts of things on his back. He's got a little boat here. Um, looks like he's got some coins. He's got glitter all over. And uh, I think that belongs to Maui. He is so cute. All right, these next few are all from the same movie, so I'm, I lucked out. We've got Jasmine here. This box is a little messed up, but there's our cute little Jasmine. And we've got Abu. He is so cute. 
doing his cute little pose and he's got his little hat on. And we've got Red Jafar. This is a really cool pop and I love that I have it. And we've got Raja. So cute. And last but not least, my boy Aladdin. Can't really see his hat, but he is wearing his cute little hat. Shirt open for anybody who's into that. Oh my gosh, we're getting close to the end. All right, next up, this is one of my favorite characters of any movie, and that is Roz from Monsters, Inc. I love her. And she has some really cool details. She is holding a clipboard, and on the clipboard, it has an actual work order for the monsters. She's got her little pen. She is cute. I do need to get more Monsters, Inc. Pops because I love Monsters, Inc. so much. My little brother, when he was really little, would want to watch it all the time. And so I ended up watching it so much. It's probably one of the Disney movies that I've seen the most amount of times. For sure. Okay, this is one of my most favorite movies. And some people don't really know it's Disney, but it is. And that movie is Hocus Pocus. These are the Sanderson sisters. You have Winifred Sanderson, Mary Sanderson, and Sarah Sanderson. Let me show you the sides so you can see what they really look like. She is holding her broom and a bottle of potion. Oof, I love that. Mary is holding her vacuum and she does have her really cool hair. You just can't really see it too well. And Sarah is holding her mop. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, next up we have a two-pack. I had to get this because I need Ursula in my life at all times. I love Ursula so much. This is a Hot Topic exclusive of Cruella DeVille and Ursula. She's got dope ass tentacles. I love this. And it, it was a Disney Treasures exclusive. This is Ariel and Eric on their wedding day. How cute is this? Oh, I love it so much. That is what it looks like. I'm so happy that I own this and that I was subscribed to that box when this came out. <laughs> okay, so now it's time for me to show you my favorite pop in my whole collection. You ready? Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is Genie giving Aladdin his first wish. I'm gonna take it out to show you. So this is Genie getting ready to grant a wish. They're on this cute little platform. He's at a podium and it says Al on it and it has a picture of the genie there. And then you've got Aladdin as the prince, Prince Alibaba. I love this pop so much. Genie is probably, I don't know, what should I say? Is he my most favorite Disney character? I love Genie so much. So, I love this pop. Um, I have one more huge pop to show you. Um, and then I have a couple little figures that I got that are not pops, but I wanted to show you anyway real quick. This is one of my coolest pop figures that I own. And that is Maleficent as the dragon. This is a huge pop. The box for it is gigantic, like bigger than my face. And I did get this in a Disney Treasures box, which was awesome. <laughs> so that is my Maleficent dragon. So cool. Really heavy. From the Disney Treasures, I also got a Dorbs, and that is Cruella DeVille. 
She's so cute. This is what she looks like. Also from Disney Treasures, I got these really cool tins. Um, this is from Beauty and the Beast. You can see Cogsworth there. There's a castle in the background. And this is Belle. And it was kind of like a blind bag that was inside here. And I just love these tins so much that I kept them. Oh, and the roses on the top. This one is Haunted Mansion. I love it so much. And this is the Hatbox Ghost. And he's like see-through. So cute. And on here you've got the mansion, the organ, Madame Leota, and some ghosts. Okay, one more thing I want to show you. This was given to us by my husband's mother, I believe. This is the Mickey and Minnie I Do times two. And it is a porcelain ornament. And I believe this is, was a wedding gift because his mother knows how much I love Mickey and Minnie. Anyway, so that is the end of my Disney Pop collection. So um, I'll see you right back here for the next part. Bye.